Hey there, Hushbap here. We're on the PTR, going to be testing a few of the new balance changes that have been added to the game. Of course, none of these are permanent, and they'll probably be changed before release. Some of them might not even make it to release. But there's quite a few characters that are going to be worth trying out. Some have had like minor changes, like Lucio. He had his amp it up healing per second decreased by 10%, so that's not really a major change, and doesn't really warrant much playtesting. I don't really play Lucio all that much, but some of the characters have kind of bigger changes to them and will be worth looking at like D.Va and Soldier 76, along with Torbjorn as well actually. So those three characters are going to try and aim to have a game with each one of them, probably just going to stick them all in one video, will be easier. Um, depends on where we found a match, so yeah we'll be trying out one of those soon. So Torbjorn actually generates scrap over time but collected scrap has been decreased by 40%. We're on defense. Man, I'm gonna try Torbjorn as well. Double Torbjorn. <laughs> double Torbjorn, double Diva. Everyone just wants to try the new heroes, so it's, it's fair enough. And uh, his swing speed has been increased, but his damage has, a bit, has been decreased uh, by quite a bit. It's like a 25% increase of speed, but a 27% decrease in damage, so overall he does less damage. Slightly by like 2%. Okay, I mean I haven't tried, I haven't played Torbjorn in like ages because he's just been not very useful in many games. I mean I've, I've played him, actually no, I can't even say I've played him at all in even season 2. It's just been that bad. Oh, we're gonna set up inside this room. Actually, we're, we're gonna put it here. Here's, here works out quite well. <laughs> it's putting it next to me. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna die. But we haven't got either. Alright, let's see how that scrap gets generated. Oh, just like that. Look, it, it's building up. Built up quite quickly, actually. So, um, apart from that, not much else has changed. So, swing speed's really quick. Or, oh, much quicker. So that will come in handy for repairing. It still might not be enough to make Torbjorn useful again. But it might be... Oh, there's, there's people here. And I died. The <laughs> they wanted to try out the um, 76, I guess. That's why he's there. Oh, I've been revived. Let's, let's grab. We've got, some, we've got scrap now. So we can actually throw some scrap. Not Pretty hand. You just collected it and died. That's kind of annoying. It's the Widowmaker. It's the problem. Oh. Well, our turret's under attack. And we're dead. I mean, he's still gonna require, like, Help. You can't. You can't just solo things. But I think the changes are pretty positive so far. You can build things quicker, and you know we, we've got enough scrap to give ourselves some armor as well as a few of our team members. So I, I think the changes are pretty positive. All right, let's build one here. It's gonna get destroyed, but we'll just use it to tank some damage. You can build level 2s really quickly now. So yeah, this is much better. I hope these make it to live. Because I haven't played them in so long, you've, you've got to practice the aiming again. The aiming with the gun. Oh, ow. Okay, that Widowmaker. Gotta be careful. Whoa. <laughs> Just dead. Just dead. I mean, we don't have to stay Torbjorn, we can just switch to a different character. And we might do that, actually. We've got, we've got our ultimate. We'll, we'll use our ultimate and then we'll try out someone else. We've got enough Divas, so we'll probably go 76. That missed. Someone else can get that. They're going to be coming around here very soon. That Widowmaker's just tearing everyone apart. 
<laughs> that Mercy is even just using a pistol. He's just not. Alright, build it again. Yeah, I like that you can just throw armor a lot. That was a really good change. I mean, his gun's still really good as it is. His rivet gun. I'm just not very good at aiming it. <laughs> haven't used this guy in ages. Had no need to remember how. Yeah, it's, it's different because his, his weapon is projectile based, so you've got to lead your targets. You're good as new. Oh, we hit him! <laughs> we actually hit him. So that's our first kill with the gun. So far. I'm gonna put this slightly further out now. I like how fast you can get level 2s up. I think this will make him at least a bit better and competitive. Because he's not bad. His gun's really good. I like his gun. People who are good at aiming with Torbjorn's gun. They... Oh, there's something going on up there. Got him. People who, who can aim with Torbjorn's gun get a lot of damage done. He ran away. Oh, there was a Hanzo behind me. Did he use scatter arrow or did he just hit me with one normal arrow? Probably a normal arrow. Yeah, but there was a headshot. Oh, we still got our turret up. One of the divas switched. I don't blame them. I can see him all through the walls. He ran up. There's a diva up there as well, actually. There's the turret. I thought, where's my turret? <laughs> I know it was alive, but I couldn't actually see where. It, oh, I remember where I put it. I put it here. Torbjorn could almost be a support now, I, I guess. He isn't, but. He sort of works similar to Symmetra now, since Symmetra can put shields on, Torbjorn can pretty much... He can't always keep his team up, but if they stay alive and they don't take too much damage, keep throwing out these armor packs. It's pretty cool. Although if you take damage, you do lose the armor, so you've got to reapply it, so... Symmetra's still probably better for that role, since the shields stay until you die. Just keep spamming this. We haven't used our ultimate yet. We should, soon. He destroyed it. He destroyed it. Can put this here. This is a terrible spot, actually, but it's out of the line of sight of that bit where Hanzo can shoot. It's only temporary, anyway. We're going to try and move it somewhere else. Oh. I kind of want them to push in so I can use my ultimate and then try out a different character. <laughs> but that's not, that's not happening yet. Oh, someone's shooting my turret. Alright, turret's down. We're gonna go up. Let's go. Where to make us down? Armor here! This is a bad spot as well. Alright, so...
I fell down. I was not supposed to fall down. I mean, it looks like we're just gonna have to use Molten Core just because we just haven't used it the whole game. Oh, yeah, that that was a weird weird match. But Torbjorn's useful, which is good. I still don't think it will fix him at the high level though, but it will maybe at least make him useful in some gold and flat level games. So now it's time to change servers and try a different hero, either Diva or 76. Also they changed the art style of this. It's interesting. Makes it more clear, although I, I didn't really mind the previous one, I quite liked it. But I can see why they did that. So aside from that, 76 has had his bullet damage increased from 17 to 20, so he does more damage now. But his maximum bullet spread has been increased from 2.2 to 2.4, so you're going to be missing a lot more shots if you hold it down. And Diva's also had some changes. Her mech health has been increased to 200, so her health has doubled. It used to be 100. So now she has more health. And her movement speed while firing has been increased by 25%, so... Yeah, I think, from what I've heard, a lot of people like the changes, although they think that some of them are a bit too much. So, um, I'm not sure if all those will stay, but it does definitely make her more tanky. And also more annoying to fight against, because she's not slow in shooting, you can't just run away from her anymore. Those aren't all the patch notes, though, there are, there's a lot more. Also, all the ultimates have been increased by 25% the cost so it's gonna take a lot longer to build them which I think is okay lots of times when I've been playing competitive people it's, it's just down to ultimates a lot like if you're contesting and it's gone into overtime since ultimates build up quite quickly it's whoever can just restock their ultimates first and just throw them at people I guess there was Widowmaker changes as well I mean, let's see here. I mean, Anna has uh, her nano boost no longer increases move speed. That's going to be kind of sad for some people. May's ultimate cost has been increased by 15%. That's fair because it just was way too quick to charge up. Zarya's particle barrier and projected barrier, the power gained from barriers has been decreased by 20%. So every time someone hits you, you gain less damage on your gun than you did before. She's still going to be really good though. I don't see this pushing her out of the meta or anything. Hello. And uh, that's that's it for the balance changes. Five. Oh, there's actually some some. Oh, okay. There's a second wave of patch notes I didn't read that were released a day ago. So Diva Call Mech, the ultimate cost has been decreased by 20%. So when she's out of the mech, she can build up her mech and get it back really quickly. That plus all the other changes. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna make her extremely annoying to deal with. I mean, she still dies pretty easily. She just doesn't die as quickly, I guess. Uh, I can see Widowmaker has some changes as well, which is why I guess there are Widowmaker players, a lot of them, in our matches. Who's that? That's another Diva. Nope. She's gonna fly after me. <laughs> I knew it! And she chased me. That was my fault for not turning around, but that does quite a bit of damage now. I mean, I, I liked playing Diva. I liked it when she was buffed as well. It was quite fun playing a different tank other than Reinhardt. And then Zarya. That was my... Ugh. When we have a bit of peace and quiet, we'll read the rest of the patch notes. We just missed that completely. Oh well, he just popped his ultimate. Uh oh. I'm not going to use mine because we're about to die. <laughs> we got trapped. So we're going to make her Venom Mine. Explosion no longer damages the player who placed the mine. Yeah, they shouldn't have had that in the first place. And uh, Widow's tricks. Kiss charge rate increased by 20%. That That's our ultimate, isn't it? I think. 
So that, that's definitely going to change things. I mean, I don't know. Some people said they don't like the soldier change, but this damage is really good now. Uh oh, I missed. Oh, thank goodness for the other soldier. There was a diva player here. She's ran off. There she is. I've got you in my sights. No. We should have gone after the soldier player first, not the, <laughs> not the diva. I've got you in my sights. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. We both we both have the same gun, and I can't deal headshots when you're. Uh, in ultimate mode, so I wasn't going to win that one unless I hit him with the rockets or place the healing first. No one can hide from my sight. Uh, here's a diva and a. Nope. Good. We got out of the way of that one. It's annoying being backed up by a diva because they have the defense matrix. Oh, he pushed me off! There I go. Uh, Pharaoh's also had some changes as well. The minimum explosion damage has been increased to 25% of the rocket's total damage, formerly 12%, so I guess it's more lenient if you miss, you deal more damage now. And the minimum explosion knockback has been decreased to 0%, formerly 75 So I guess now you can, if you if you miss, it doesn't knock you back as much. Everyone, heal up. You like hit them just at the edge, I think, I think that's what it means, and Mercy has some changes too. The thing is, the vent matrix doesn't protect you from behind. Thank you, Zarya. Zarya is still going to be so good against Diva because it, the defense matrix does not block. Oh no. That got some people. What? There's a May there. Alright, so... Soldier's not bad. I mean, I'm not doing very well with him here, but I mean, I think these changes will be pretty interesting. And finally, Mercy passive health regeneration now kicks in when Mercy avoids taking damage for one second, formerly three, so she's gonna survive a lot more. That's interesting, and that's it for the patch notes. I like that they're testing more stuff on the PTR. I wanna try D.Va now. But you don't have a D.Va. Probably doesn't help that we have two Widowmakers, because not a lot of ground presence. Unless they're good. There is a difference. You barely, you still slow down, but it's it's not noticeable. It's very, very, very small amount of slowdown. Yeah, she now has the same amount of health as Roadhog, except for she's got armor instead of just pure health. So she actually has more health than Roadhog, like completely more health. Diva's also very good against Diva because she's got a huge hitbox and your gun has a huge amount of spread. Is there another Diva here? Just aim for that control console bit. We can't, we can't, we can't aim today. Even with a gun that needs no aiming, we can't aim. Uh, it's awful. It always happens. Whenever I go to make a video, there's always, always, always some reason why I can't aim. And then when I play like without doing it, I'm fine. It's weird. There's a I'm coming for you, Widowmaker. You ran away. All right, I'm on the. Mo I might as well have used that because. It didn't really get me anywhere, but I would have had to rebuild my mech again. That's... Oh. Okay. Gonna destroy that mech. No, we didn't even destroy the mech! We just died. What do they have? They have one Widow, two Soldiers, two Divas. We have one Widow, one Soldier, one Decree, one Dead. We only have one tank. I think the defense matrix is, is exactly the same. They didn't make any changes, but I know they nerfed it a bit. Of 
course, like, Diva herself does a lot of damage with the pistol, but we're not doing very well here. We're getting completely stomped on. We are missing a player. We're missing a healer. We don't have a support. There we go. I don't think it's gonna matter though. We got two of them. Two of them are down. That gives us some time. I'll get me killed, mercy. Oh. Well, now we can chase him. Where'd he go? There's another one. He's got us in his sights. We actually got. Is that a sentry gun up there? It is. It's a Torbjorn gun. That would have been interesting to try out. Oh, we got one. Thank you, Lucio, for the. Uh... I think there's a there's a diva up there. Let's go help our buddies out. There we go. Call back. Yeah, it is noticeably faster to get one back, so I like that change. Oh, the sniper's over there. That got no one. That got absolutely no one. Why did I run out there? I have no idea. It's not like a Reaper Zolt where you can hide it. You still have to get people off guard to kill them with Diva's ultimate. The turret's down. No! I was one second away from it. Oh well. So that's some of the changes to the PTR. I mean, done them pretty good. Quite like them. Would be interested to find out which ones make it. I, mean, I don't know when they do that, but they probably want to have at least a couple of weeks to let it settle. Probably something like season three of competitive. A bit sooner. Because that would be nice. Some of these changes are actually really good. So that's it. We went through some of the some of the balance changes, not very well, but <laughs> we did we did have a look at them. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.